Hi everyone, so today I just wanted to make a quick sit down video on books that got me back into reading because I think with all the reading videos now it just kind of fits, you know, because reading videos are actually what got me back into reading and so I just wanted to kind of share some of my favorite books that I read at the beginning of my reading journey and books that I think would be really easy to get back into it um, so yeah, let's just get right into it so the first book that I actually read when I got back into reading I think three years ago was 101 Essays That Changed The Way You Think and I think this book and generally books like it are really easy <laughs> to start again because it has these like chapters that are just like a couple pages long and like kind of lists and stuff. So it's really like an easy read. You can just do like one chapter at a time and it's not like 30 minutes a chapter. It's just a couple minutes, a couple pages. So I think generally Brianna Wiest books or in the same style are really good to get started again. In the same category I have this book Untamed by Gunnar Doyle, one of my absolute all-time favorites. It's also kind of an essay type book and this book is just so good, like so inspiring, maybe even motivating. I really enjoyed it and it's it makes reading fun, you know, you read about somebody's life but it's not like this long biography thing. It's just very interesting and quick and emotional <laughs> too. Um, but yeah, really recommend this book, also really loved it. And then another author that I generally really like all of his books is Matt Haig. Um, I think The Midnight Library was the first one that I read by him, but I also have How to Stop Time, Notes on a Nervous Planet, another one that I don't know the English title of. I'll put all the books up here. Um, and Matt Haig books, as you can see, they're not that big. This one's like 200 pages, I think. So these books are also very easy because it's a fictional story, but they have like connections to real life, I would say. So it's not like fantasy or anything. Obviously, it's just fiction. And I really like them because you can take something away, they're not too long, they are always different stories but kind of with the same message behind them. Not So the Nervous Planet actually is kind of more like the essay books that I talked about before. Overall a great author to get into and it also <laughs> his books kind of helped me with dealing with anxiety. Obviously it doesn't make it better like when you read one book but it helps to get different views and like also the views of other people because Matt Haig himself struggles with a few different mental problems. Definitely recommend Matt Haig in general. And now an author that is at the same time very popular and also very unpopular amongst the book talk community, Colleen Hoover. Um, her books are just very easy to read for me. They're very quick but I do have to say that I don't like all of them and they're just it's the same scheme like there's usually a love triangle and obviously the two people that you expect would be together at the end end up being together but the one that's a little bit different is Verity and I really enjoyed it because it also has a little bit of a thriller factor and so it's really like gripping and you really want to get through it so I definitely recommend this one. The other Colleen Hoover books they're they're fine you know but this one this one is really good. I really like this one. And then same with kind of love story, kind of not, is Catherine Center. I only read one book by her so far but I definitely want to read all the other ones too and the one that I read is How to Walk Away and it was so good. I read it in I think one or two days. One of the best books I've ever read. Also very quick, very easy to get through, very easy writing style. 100% recommend Catherine Center. I'm definitely gonna read all of her other books. I am obsessed. Even though some of the aspects of How to Walk Away were kind of predictable, it's not as predictable as Colleen Hoover. Catherine Center, 10 out of 10. And then another book that I just really love is The Perks of Being a Wallflower, also a very short book. I think short books are better for getting into reading because it's easier to finish like a couple books and then you've already read a couple books so that like makes you feel good. The Perks of Being a Wallflower is just such a sad and emotional but also beautiful book. It's really moving. I really really liked it. Um, I think the book is way better than the movie even though the movie is good as well but as I said it's a short book. It's very fast paced because it's easy to read. It's a easy like writing style so you get into it quite quickly and there's also obviously this personal story of the main character that's just very moving and you really want to know what happens next um so yeah definitely recommend this or like books like this like a kind of fictional autobiography thing um so yeah i also love those so those are a couple of books that helped me get back into reading i know this video is very short but i am a fast talker and i just want to get like give out a couple of books um that i just really enjoyed that helped me get back into reading so I really hope you try some of them out, enjoy them and let me know how you like them. I'll also link my Goodreads below. I also have a ton of other books on there that I read that I also for the most part really enjoyed. Um, so I would love to know what your favorite starting out books are, if you like those and just generally like your favorite books and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!